Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomized Nuzlocke. This is part number 10 and we made it to Vermilion City last episode. Today, we do have a couple of encounters that we could grab. However, my mindset is slightly different. While we have good old Diglett Cave, Route 11, and even Vermilion City itself that we could get encounters in, my mindset for today is what if we just absolutely rushed the SSN and skipped over all of those encounters, we put those on a back burner, and instead, we just went and saw all of the trainers in the SSN. There is so many trainers that we probably won't be able to get through all of it today. But there will be so many custom sprites and it just sounds like a good time. We level up our Pokemon a bit. Even if we don't get through all of the SSN, it'll be absolutely fine. We'll just finish it up at the start of next episode and probably have the gym in the next episode as well. So together, I feel like it should be a, a lot of battles within these next two episodes. It sounds fun. That is the plan for today. Uh, this guy is currently trying to sell me Swift, and to be honest, I don't think I want it. I guess on Wizard, it wouldn't be the worst, just because we would be able to get rid of Uproar, which does lock us in. But Uproar being just stronger is kind of nice. Eugene can also learn it, and Eugene... I guess it is Stab on Eugene, and the attack and special attack on Eugene are actually pretty similar. But actually, it would be more worth it on Eugene than anyone else question is, is it more worth it than Bite? It is Stab, which is very valuable, and it is Technician boosted, just like Bite. However, we do lose a little bit of coverage. Normal and Grass isn't exactly like the best type coverage in the world. We could also get rid of Leech Seed. We could get rid of Leech Seed. I don't know if we really need Leech Seed. It's a useful move for if there's something setting up on us or there's something that like really walls us hard. But at the moment, we have a lot of good type coverage. Uh, and there is a move relearner. So if we ever want Leech Seed back, we can grab it. For now, I think I'll actually take Swift. We'll go ahead and have that at the front. Uh, you don't sell me anything, right? No, okay. Instead, we just go on to good old SSN. I don't think we can get any encounters on the SSN unless anything has been added since I last played. I'm pretty sure we should be fine to just go ahead and start getting these battles underway. I think today is also going to be the first episode where I've likely had my YouTube name changed. That's right, it's probably no longer Instant Kills 225. I say that probably because I haven't actually done it at the time of this recording, but it's probably been changed. Uh, I think I've probably done a video on it as well, saying quickly something along the lines of the name change isn't going to affect the content in any way. It's still the same plan overall. Uh, I'm, I'm still making Pokemon content and all of that stuff. Rayford probably would have just KO'd it, which would have been smarter, considering nothing can have Ice-type moves. Yep, like that. Uh, but with Paralysis, we still find spot. Yeah, the content isn't going to be changing. It's just the old name was very, very Xbox Live username era <laughs> from when I used to play, like, Call of Duty and stuff. So this is just more versatile, and honestly, I just like the name more. It's pretty much that simple. It's just something that I like more. It's shorter. There's no numbers, because numbers in names nowadays. Nothing wrong with it, but it is definitely... It, it feels old, if you know what I mean. It feels like an old username that you would see, or a brand new username. It feels like either a really old username from Xbox era, or a really new username to someone that's not been on the internet for quite as long. So this just feels much better in my opinion. Uh, we are going to put Skills in front though, actually. I was going to lead with Fangali because I thought, hey, it's a fun Pokemon to use, but Skills needs XP. So let's go ahead and get Skills in front, make sure the Skills can get as much XP as possible. It's going to take a long time before we get an Aggron, um, level 42, I believe. That's, that's great Sprite. On Farig. Well, we are four times weak to Steel, so this was a terrible decision. But hey, we didn't know that before. What are you going to do? Uh, in terms of typing, we're dealing with... Steel... Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember if Honage was Primary Ghost or Primary Steel. I know we had it earlier in the, the playthrough. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's Primary Steel. I'm pretty sure it's Primary Steel. Could make it Steel Psychic? That's a scary typing. I'm just going to go into Tortellini. Tortellini's sort of become my default to go into whenever I'm slightly afraid of something's typing, which is, is probably pretty good. It means we chose the right starter. This makes me feel comfortable going into it, I guess. Uh, let's... Let's test a Fire Pledge. Is Fire Pledge, in fact, super effective? Do I have it right in my mind? 
It is super effective. It is primary steel. I do have it right in my mind. Okay. Every single time that I get that confirmed in my head, an extra time, hopefully it will make the next process smoother. Uh, trying to learn Draining Kiss. Yes. Yes, I believe that is. Yep, that is just better than Disarming Voice. Sure, it can technically miss if we get our accuracy drop, but overall, way better. Uh, Love Disc Grovile is what I'm going to assume that is. Sounds Brave Birdable. Does sound Brave Birdable. We can't go into Skittles, but the Skittles is weak to grass and water, so you know what? Brave Bird. That is not a Love Disc. That is a Luxio Grovile. Another episode of a Luxio video. Wild. Wild. Or Luxray. I actually can't tell which it is. I, my mind said Luxio at first, but I mean, it could be either. I'm gonna play it safe and not Brave Bird on the first turn. I'm just gonna bite. I definitely should have just went for Brave Bird because it would have KO'd. I'm so afraid to click the move that has Recoil. Now we can Brave Bird very safely though. We know that we're not gonna get KO'd by Recoil. We know that he doesn't have anything weird for us that would just like... Not gonna wrap out like counter or anything like that. Not that either of those Pokemon can learn counter. It's just like, I'm always so scared of pressing Brave Bird. A Rage Candy Bar. Well, that's not the best thing we could ever pick up, but it it's it's sellable, maybe. That looks like a lot of trainers. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What do you got, Class Anne? Dundact! Beauty. Your beauty. Look at that incredible sprite. Dunsparce is so often given these awesome dragon sprites, and I'm I'm fully all for it. But also, I do love the Dunsparce. Okay, I am actually very happy with that is super effective. Does absolutely nothing. I am actually very happy with the Dunsparce just because it's still it's still the meme, you know. It's still the useless Pokemon meme, and that does make me happy inside. Because if it did turn into this awesome dragon, it would it would kind of ruin the whole point of Dunsparce being like this useless. I think they called Tsukinomi's. I I don't actually know if I have that right. That maybe not. Uh, I don't know the exact thing that they're based off of. But they're based off of something that's meant to just be completely useless. So I'm glad that the Dunsparce lived up to that. <laughs> it lived up to being useless. It sounds so rude. Uh, Hon King. That's a horrible Pokemon to come out because King can be so many different Pokemon. Nido King, Slow King, I don't know. It, it could be so many different things. But I'm just going to go into Wizard because Wizard is good against a variation of types. Honedge Nido King. Okay, well, good in a way because I was thinking if it was Nido King, we're immune to ground and poison. So that works out. Uh, we. Can't hit you with Thundershock because you're secondary ground. So you are steel ground. This is actually really not a good Pokemon to be in for to actually hit him back, sadly. Steel ground does sound like Portolini's job, to be honest. That sounds like a Sue rude. But fine. But fine. Still, rude. Pursuit is something that I had not even been considering up to this point, and now that's another thing that I have to add to my list in the back of my mind of scary things that Pokemon can have. The list grows. The fusions, the list is pretty much endless. Wizard wants to learn Shockwave. Yes, good. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, Thundershock. Just an upgrade. Straight up an upgrade. I guess the only negative is that we would potentially not be able to uh, paralyze, but like, we have other ways of paralyzing things if we really need. Youngster Tyler sends out Togazard. Beauty. Don't get me wrong, the Dunsparce Aerodactyl was a beautiful dragon, and it was derpy. And I liked it because it was derpy, but this is derpier. This is way derpier. This is Fairy Flying or Fairy Fire. I don't know if Charizard always keeps its fire typing, but we either way, Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb will be just fine. Our speed gets dropped, we were going second anyway, it's fine. We are level down. Fairy Wind is neutral. We should be okay. We are reasonably tanky, actually. It does go down to the second Rock Tomb. Nice and easy. Cool. And that's him out of the way. I should actually be speaking to these people in case they want to give me anything. They don't. 
Nothing but trash. There's nothing in here. I came into this room for nothing. Well, I guess it wasn't for nothing. We saw cool things. Rio do beauty. Kind of cursed, but also kind of beautiful. You wouldn't have a steel type move, right? If my Lucario doesn't have a steel, well, my Lucario. My Lucario has metal claw, actually. Gonna be honest, I evolved Riolu so early that I actually don't know Riolu's moveset um, compared to Lucario's super well. And now I've made myself afraid. <laughs> I've I've actually managed to make myself afraid of a Bidoof Riolu, which is impressive, actually. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of this. I'm draining kissing it. Faint is fine. Faint is fine. Draining kiss is just gonna give us a ton of HP back. There was no need to be afraid of it. I don't know why I was acting like it was scary. We get full HP off of it, though, which is nice. Before un uh, unknown, not jump bluff, because that would have an L in there. Ah. 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 My brain is not remembering what the puff is. As it is part unknown, I am just going to go into Eugene, because Eugene has bite. Ah. I'll know it the second I see the finish. Jigglypuff, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, uh, which does mean that Bite is actually not as effective. But still, between Fake Out and, like, Razor Leaf will be fine. Never mind, we do not need to worry about that thing in the slightest. Cool musical note, though, on the unknown. Cool sprite. Creative. I like it. You give me anything? Came from another region north of here called Sinnoh. By the way, would you like to have a rematch? Nothing? No goodies in this room whatsoever? I feel actually betrayed. Well, never mind. Uh, while we're heading to the good old kitchen, I can also talk about a new game I've been playing called Lords of the Fallen. I think the kitchen's the other side. I want to go to the kitchen. Uh, Lords of the Fallen, which came out on Friday. I've only played a couple of hours at the moment, but that game so far seems so good. It's it's such a beautiful game. Ooh, Bellsprout statues to sell. Um, and a candy ball. Nice, nice. We will try and use that. But it is such a fun game. I just personally really like Souls Likes in general. I haven't gotten around to Lies of P, which is another Souls Like that came out somewhat recently. I played the demo for it though, and the demo went on for so long. The demo was crazy. The demo was like a game in and of itself. It just it just kept going and kept giving more and more. It was actually a wild experience. That game was also really good. It is a good year for Souls Like. Uh, I saw that the reviews on Walls of the Fallen were, like, really mixed at the moment from people that were very... having a lot of performance issues. Uh, I... I turned my graphics down at the start and turned, like, ray tracing off, and I have had not a single issue. So, if anyone did want to try Lords of the Fallen and was having issues maybe that is watching this, I would say just turn the settings to medium. Just that simple. Turn them to medium. <laughs> then you'll have probably no issues. Uh, Dig Cargo. Am I afraid of this? I'm afraid of ground type moves, I guess. So, yes. I guess I kind of want to just try and smack it. Okay, I guess we're slightly afraid of ground type moves. Ortolini should be able to deal with this with a bubble beam so easily. I'm very curious to know how this Dig Cargo moves. Does it, like, zoom along the top of the wheel and him going forward on the wheel makes, like, the wheel spin around and then he just has to, like, bounce himself like he's riding a unicycle? Kind of funny to imagine in my mind, actually. <laughs> also, what happens when it's a Doug Trio? Is there just two, like, stuck out of the sides, like little spikes on the wheels to, like, hit people with the spikes on the wheels as they go by? Uh, Fletch Mask. Fletchling Yamask. Flying Ghost or Normal Ghost? One of the, one of the two. Either way, Skittles should be fine against that. There shouldn't be anything that can hit skills super hard. I'm determined to get skills some XP, okay? I'm determined. Okay. Weird Sprite. Weird Sprite. Either way, Rock Tomb should bonk it. As it is Fletch Inder, not Fletch Ling, it is weak to rock regardless of which primary typing it is. And Rio Rita. Probably Riolu Gotharita. Fighting Psychic. Uh... Which we can stay in against and hit with fairy type moves. Riolu Chikorita. I'm getting so many of these fusions wrong because they have such similar ends to their names. 
We are weak to grass, but he is also weak to fairy. And I feel like this kind of evens out. Also, it's weird that it has like a fire plume coming out of its head almost when it's a Chikorita, which is a grass type. Weird. Weird. Either way, absolutely defeated by the kit. Could not control himself, got kissed once, went spiraling in a circle, and ran out, out the window. Next special attack. I have no idea what any of these items are actually being randomized from, but I'm sure they're very common items like potions, super potions, uh, maybe berries, pokeballs, that sort of thing. So they aren't one of a kind items at the moment. Chardos. Well, that sounds like Rock Tomb. Also, get this spider off my screen right now. No spider fusion. We don't need any spider fusions in this entire playthrough at all, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Iron Head this early is nice, actually. That's a nice move. We aren't a seal type, sadly, but that's that's cool. Ligon Luxray? Ligon Luxray? Dragon Electric? Uh... Could have Levitate if it's a Flygon. Good. It would be weak to Fairy. It would have ground type moves potentially. Kind of a scary typing. At least a little bit. Angale should be pretty neutral. Well, no, it won't be neutral at all with Brave Bird. That'll be resisted. I'm being silly. Uh, I guess I'm staying in. It is Flygon Luxray. Okay. It's it's cool. I'm just slightly afraid of it having, like, magnitude. But Draining Kiss it is. Rock Slide, that's fine. That's neutral. Um, no flinches? No flinches. Good. Neutral. Ground Primary. Ground Electric. Ground Electric. Does that mean I want to stay in? The idea of a stab ground move does scare me a little bit more. Ground Electric is neutral uh, if we hit it with steel. Oh, it is. I'm being silly. What am I saying? I'm saying words that are not true. Um, uproar, however, is neutral. And we are immune to any ground type moves that might be coming our way while also resisting electric. My brain is getting fried very quickly today. <laughs> we do immune the sand tomb. Okay, we made the right play. Uproar. Respectable damage that a citrus berry you've got there. Orenberry. Charge. Okay, you're gonna get the special defense boost. I don't know if that'll be enough to make him live. It was not. Okay, nice. Fly Ray goes down. That sand tomb could have been scary, because remember, if it hit it, if it had hit us with the sand tomb, it would have been stabbed and we would have been stuck in. So at least we we swapped out before that got scary. Dust two. Two. Mewtwo? Oh no. Dustox? Dustox Mewtwo? The bug? A skull Mewtwo as well, potentially. If it's Duskull Mewtwo, it's four times weak to bite. If it's Duskox Mewtwo, it is weak to brave. That's, that, sound, that sounds pretty good to me. I don't, I don't see no issue. That sounds pretty good. Dust Clops Mewtwo. Okay. Scary. But four times weak to bite. Like I just said. So we bite him. Nom nom. Delicious nutritious. No more Mewtwo. Nice. Nice. We have seen our fair share of legendaries. None of them have given us too much trouble so far though. Like the Entei last episode wasn't too bad. That Mewtwo wasn't too bad. Another candy ball. We also saw candy balls. Um, we picked one up before we entered the ship as well. And we got two on the ship. So those might be replacing like great balls or super potions or something like that. Uh, and might actually be a more common pickup. Which is certainly interesting. I spent all of my savings to buy a ticket for this cruise. And it was completely worth it. Man, we have a Paris. Nothing you've done is worth it. <laughs> which, that's so hostile. But it's true, Okay. It's true. Uh, Mibbles, you're going to go in front because you are lowest on XP. And let's go ahead and continue. 
All right, Fisherman Bonnie Bell Trip. Horrifying. Actually horrifying. <laughs> Why would you make this? Why would anyone make this? I mean, we'll go for the fake out, I guess. That did so much damage. I think we probably outspeed as well. I'm just gonna headbutt. We do outspeed. Good. I wasn't sure if the Sentra had like Thunderfies or something that was gonna actually outspeed us, but it did not. Uh, Faint Attack, right? We had this exact same issue with Eugene because they're both Meow Fusions, so I think we stuck with Bite because Bite at least has the flinch chance on a reasonably fast Pokemon. Same logic here. Jin Pass, Jinx, Nose Pass? Jinx, I believe, is primary ice. Nose Pass is pure rock, meaning it is four times weak to steel. And we have Iron Head now. And I would like to hit it with an Iron Head. I really would. I would like to smash it. Holy. That is... No I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Smash. Um, anyway, uh, Iron Head. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh! Robo Pass. Not Nose Pass. Right. There is an evolution. Uh, <laughs> we are... We are playing a Fire Red clone, but right, yeah, that there, there can be <laughs> future generation Pokemon. Robo Pass. Um... I don't know if I'm afraid of anything this has, and Iron Head is at least neutral. I guess Rock Tomb would probably also be neutral and would be stabbed. I don't think that makes it stronger than Iron Head, actually, so we're just gonna Iron Head again. Out of Snow doesn't do too much damage. He is also Burn, so one more Iron Head and a Burn Tick should be enough. Another Powder Snow isn't gonna kill us even if it crits, so we should be a-okay. Um, thank you for Flame Orbing yourself. Lots of random Pokemon throughout this run. It is very convenient. And Toto Rock. Toto Dial Croc Rock. Water Dark. Water Dark? I think we just raise a leaf. It all fake out into raise a leaf, and we should have no issues. Yep. I mean that fusion just makes sense because they're both crocodiles. That one that one I get. We, once again, do not even need to hit it with a Razor Leaf. We can just go for the Swift that has no chance to miss. No point in risking the 5% uh, miss chance of Razor Leaf if we don't have to. I did not mean to click Yes on Sweet Scent. We do not need that move. Shaman Barry. I haven't been clicking people. Do you give me stuff? Nope, that's just a rematch. There's no, like, rod or anything from you. How about you, though? Baby, you're walking the plank if you lose. Do you have a plank? Like the plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie? I get to walk on him? Or pass. Ooh. <laughs> another nose pass, huh? Um, or well, another probo pass, I should say. Uh, I'll go for the fake out, because why not? Honk. Zero damage. Nice and expected. Uh, grass. And... What did we say? Steel? If it was second? Our Steel is a tough type to deal with. It is, in fact, only weak to fire. But our Pokemon that is weak... Our Pokemon that has a fire type move... Is weak to grass. We've approached a dilemma. <laughs> this is not ideal. I guess... It's definitely not ideal. This... I would love to just hit it with a fire type move. Angale is weak to rock. I guess Wizard, while it doesn't have anything that can hit it, was super effective. In fact, it can't, can't hit anything for neutral either. Man, Wizard, your typing is so good. Your moveset, we need a better thing than uproar. We need some kind of coverage move that will be better than uproar. I might have to go back to the move relearner and see if he can learn uh, some other different type of move. Because that move is not helping us right now. I guess we will go. Good Brave Butter, and it would do decent damage. It is a Torterra, though. And a Probopass. They're tanky. They're tanky, they're bulky, they're scary. They've got the trifecta. I'm going into Eugene. Why? 
because I want to know what movie's going to go for, and we should be pretty decent here. Uh. Oh, no. All right, everyone, focus mode. This Pokemon just got slightly scary. Uh, once again, we're going to fake out. It's going to do baby damage. Fight is neutral. It's not good. But if we can just flinch him enough, then we win. All right, here's flinch number one. Okay, all right, I wasn't expecting this to actually work, but uh, <laughs> all right. Here's flinch number two. Electric gem boosted spark that paralyzed. I, w I thought I was going to get really lucky for a second there when we got the first flinch. I was like, oh, I'm just going to like use up all my luck on this fight and it'll be fine. Nope. Nope. That may not the case. So curse and spark, which now has an attack boost on spark. Um, I'm going to bite again. Razor leaf. Spark, razor leaf, uh. I'm going into Fangale and hoping he doesn't have a rock type move. We know three of his moves. It's a little bit early. It's, it's scary to do right now. I'm going into it. We got the Intimidate off as well. Raise Leap is resisted. I'm Brave Birding him. Please don't hit me with a rock type move. There's a good chance this KOs even with the defense boost. Razor Leap again. Good, good, good. That's that's what I thought. I'm going to Brave Bird again because it can't miss. Slightly scary Pokemon fight right there. Slightly scary. Four Pass does go down, most importantly, and we do still have everyone nice and alive, which is always important. Do you give me anything? Does it sometimes drift into the ship? Would you like to have a rematch? No. No. No, I actually wouldn't. And for our efforts, we get a Latte. Is not a medicine. Wait. It's not a medicine. It's not an item. Definitely not a TM. Not a berry. Oh, it's a battle item. Okay. Uh, two speed stages. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Certainly an option. Uh, all right. Well, that was a lot of battles. Uh, did I grab the flame? Yes. It was a lot of battles. Let's go ahead. Heal up. We check the kitchen. What do we have left to do? We have the front. There's so many rooms in the SSN. There's so many rooms in the SSN. Holy. We saw so many cool sprites. And it's just like. We're just getting started. You know. Restaurant is full at the moment. You'll have to come back later if you want to eat here. Can I get any goodies here, though? Hyper voice. Better than headbutt. Could be. Uh, it is 4K. It's not like it's way, way, way better or anything like that. So, oh, maybe not. Do any of you others give me any moves? Nope, oh, just Hyper Voice. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to speak to any of these people in case they battle. But uh, let's quickly go and see if we can learn any better move on Wizard real quick. Better than Uproar is the last thing that we do for the day, shall we? There's a there's a good chance that we can learn something a bit better. I'll put the speed on for this. I'm just running back and checking something. Let's see if we can learn anything that's super, super good. 1k, that's fine. Wizard, what can you learn? Aura Sphere. Discharge. I mean, I feel like the obvious choice is we take Aura Sphere because our issue was that we encountered a Steel Pokemon and we didn't have anything to hit it. Whereas with Aura Sphere, we won't have that issue and we also won't be locked into Uproar. So, yep. I am fine with that. We do already have fighting type coverage with uh Portolini and Double Kick, but that feels that feels like a worthy upgrade. That does. That should fix uh, a couple of our issues. And we will go ahead and leave ourselves. Oh, yep, I do still have my ticket. We'll leave ourselves here for next episode to go ahead and continue making our way through the SSN.
like I said, I don't want to like rush through the SSN and skip over battles or anything like that. We're just here to have a good time. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, 